I was feeling super sad, super, I, I don't know if I should even say depressed. Like, honestly, my mood was literally like so low. Like, I don't know who sent me. I don't know who sent me to go and get pregnant. Ah. He has done me well. He has done me well. Done me well, Lord. Done me well. Done me well. Done me well. Hey, 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 Anyways, you got a little bit of, a little bit of that. Definitely give this video a thumbs up if you like, if you like my crazy dance at the beginning. Okay guys, so welcome back to another video. My name is Vanessa. If you're seeing me for the first time, please consider clicking the subscribe button to join the family. I make lots of videos on natural hair. Um, I don't know what channel I'm gonna post this video on. So if it goes on my hair channel, yeah, you probably would see my content anyway. And let's hop right into today's video. Uh, in today's video, I'm just gonna tell you guys about my first trimester. So just like a first trimester update. Um, yeah, pregnant for baby number three. And I literally cannot wait to meet this little bundle of joy that has been cooking in my stomach. Uh, but anyway, so, <laughs> yeah, so I'm so glad that we're literally over that first trimester. Literally, the first trimester, guys, is the ghetto. Is the ghetto, it's literally like the worst, the worst time ever. You know, I remember saying to my husband at that time, oh my God, we're definitely not doing this again. We're definitely not doing this again. <laughs> And I thought it's because of the way I was feeling that I was talking, honestly, just because, yeah, oh, I remember saying this when I was pregnant for my daughter and then I got pregnant again. So it can't be that bad, but trust me, as you're going through it, that's what's going through your mind. You're like, who sent me to get pregnant? Like literally, who sent me? <laughs> you start to think about, you know, all the negative stuff that, oh, you know, maybe it was actually better if we just stayed with two children. Like, this is just completely unbearable. But anyways, I'll tell you a bit more about how it felt around that time. Um, so that maybe if you're if you're pregnant or you're looking to get pregnant for the first time, you don't know what to expect. You always hear about morning sickness. This is it, you know. Obviously, it varies for women, depending on whether you're having twins or single tone, it really varies and also like your genes. Some women don't even get morning sickness at all. Um, I didn't have any morning sickness when I was pregnant for my son, but for my daughter, I had really bad morning sickness and then this pregnancy again, bad morning sickness. So it really varies. So yeah, don't be scared. You may be getting pregnant and then you're not having any symptoms at all. Um, or you may be having minor symptoms than I did. So do not let this put you off getting pregnant because trust me, pregnancy is such a beautiful thing. It is an amazing thing, such a huge blessing that I that you want to experience, you know. So don't let this um, discourage you because that's not the purpose of today's video. It's not to complain. It's not to discourage women from getting pregnant. It's not any of that. I'm just sharing my experience, um, basically going through morning sickness essentially so what happened as some of you guys probably watched my how i found out i was pregnant video you probably would have known already about when i found out i was pregnant so i found i was pregnant i thought i was about three weeks but i think i was actually more than three weeks so i remember saying to my husband at the time um that i think this morning sickness just came on a lot sooner and also i had a bump a lot sooner as well so i was thinking okay maybe i'm pregnant for twins but it actually happened to be only one child just like i said before guys it's because of the fact that i was on a mini pill so that just threw everything yeah guys i'm so sorry my camera um got overheated so i had to turn it off and then um, restart again. It's kind of annoying when he does that because now I've completely lost my train of thought. But I think what I was saying is that um, I thought I was three weeks um, pregnant, three to four weeks pregnant when my morning sickness started, but actually it turned out that I was actually more, I was actually ahead of my pregnancy then because um, obviously I was on a, mini, uh, on a mini pill before I got pregnant. So that, 
kind of changed a lot of things around essentially so you sort of messed up with my actual due date um so yes yeah, so essentially i would say my morning sickness started when i was about six weeks um yeah about that which is about the same time that i i started having morning sickness with my daughter when i found out i was pregnant um so like i, said, I was trying i was saying that just to say that it varies depending on on the person some people can have morning sickness a lot sooner or even a little bit later on in the pregnancy um or some may not even have it at all um so it really depends on whether you're carrying twins or single time and also just genetics i guess and each pregnancy is different you know um so but anyway so for me the first thing that i started having was feeling a lot tired i was literally like so tired i had no energy to do anything around the house whether it was just to like clean wash the dishes sweep the floor i couldn't really do any of that because i just had this overwhelming uh, tiredness that just came over me literally i couldn't do much i'm so blessed that i had my husband that was obviously um taking care of everything while i wasn't well i also had this constant feeling of unsettledness in my stomach um it's very difficult to describe it didn't feel like indigestion or anything it just i don't know what it was literally i constantly had that all day round so from morning till the time that i go to sleep i always had this constant feeling on of unwellness in my stomach it was literally like so weird and even when i ate something it wouldn't really go away so it was literally like I don't know it just felt really really uncomfortable and i couldn't bear their smell so everything that had a lot of spice um food that had a lot of spice in it i just couldn't bear it it always it just smelled so bad like honestly you could be cooking here and your food actually smells amazing it tastes so good but i'll be there and be like hmm, what's that smell like literally so the other thing was it's nausea I just had so much nausea it was oh my god it was literally like the worst thing ever from the moment you wake up to the time you go to sleep you're literally like spitting i was spitting like crazy i just hated that only thing that really got me through the nausea around that time was um ginger ginger and lemon tea my husband used to make that for me a lot with a bit of honey i would have that and it would calm down the nausea a little bit and also i had this mint that i was getting from um from, from the pharmacy um it didn't taste nice at all no one in my house could have them but i loved them because it was really like helping me um not have so much nausea so those are the two things that i was using that was helping me a little bit but other than that literally i would finish eating like now and then i would just be so full of nausea and i would constantly get this feeling of wanting to vomit but then nothing will come out so i actually go and physically be sick but I will not actually end up vomiting anything. Um, so that was just the kind of thing that I was getting. And that went on from six weeks up until I was 12 weeks. Like it lasted so long. And I remember just feeling so, I don't know, like just feeling so unwell in myself that it started to affect my mental health a lot. Like I was literally like so sad. I don't even know. Like I just, I really couldn't place it, honestly. <laughs> I couldn't place it because I'm someone that, I don't like not being unwell like honestly i don't think there's anybody that would like being unwell but what i'm trying to say is i, I just can't bear unwellness i love myself to be you know to be okay so i feel like because i was constantly being unwell and it was just dragging days after days nights after nights it, it just started to take a toll on my mental health i was feeling super sad super I don't know if I should even say depressed like honestly my mood was literally like so low so low I was I, I don't I don't know it was just it was just such, such a weird time it was such a weird time to be going through that literally and then I had you know other children around that I needed to take care of I had work to go to so literally it wasn't 
it wasn't the easiest first trimester at all but i'm so glad that that has passed the thing is after 12 weeks usually you're you're back to yourself like you gradually start to come back to being like you were pre-pregnancy um so i started feeling a lot more relieved the nausea gradually left and now i have no nausea at all no sick feeling in my stomach um i'm tired sometimes but you know any pregnant woman will be tired you know sometimes i think it's just normal but it's not the same sort of level of tiredness that i was experiencing in the first trimester where i really all i just wanted to do all day was just to lie down literally lie down with a bucket next to me and just be spitting in it that's literally what all i wanted to do because i was literally like so unwell even eating i couldn't really eat i think i lost um about three to four kg during my first trimester just because yeah i could i couldn't really eat guys like everything smelled bad everything smelled bad like all the foods literally i couldn't bear the smell neither the taste so the only thing that i was really eating around that time were things like that literally had no smell so i would boil like potatoes and add some palm oil to it pound it and essentially just, just have it like some weird stuff you know sometimes i would just eat bread i would just have bread and tea and go to sleep or just like tea so but obviously like i said those things do pass and then you're sort of back to your to your normal self again and i, I like i said i was just feeling so so sick that i was saying to my husband i'm definitely not getting pregnant again please don't get me pregnant again don't get me pregnant <laughs> honestly that's exactly what i was saying i was like I don't know who sent me. I don't know who sent me to go and get pregnant. Ah, it was just literally like so bad, and I wouldn't even reach out my enemy at all. That's just how I felt around that time. Um, but yeah, we're back to our normal self now. I, oh, I forgot to mention the smell of the house, even the own house that I live in. The house that I live in, I'm used to. I clean every day and stuff. Well, at that time my husband was cleaning but i still felt like the house was smelling every room i would enter would smell my husband's perfume my husband's soap the soap that you would normally use um you know that he had been using for so many years the cream that i've been he had been using for so many years i would just hit the smell honestly like this man will come close to me like i'm gonna be like please 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 just go leave me alone leave me alone can you just sleep in the very very edge of the bed i don't even want to be smelling your hair i don't want to be smelling your body honestly because i just yeah for some reason i just couldn't bear the smell of his soap his cream the smell of his shampoo hair cream nothing i couldn't like it just smelled so bad to me and these are the things that i really loved you know before being pregnant and now i don't mind it so much but i still have some days when i feel like i don't really want to be smelling this i'm not liking the smell of this you know um but that's what comes with with being pregnant in general but it's a lot better now i feel a lot more energized i started going to the gym um i can eat a bit more now i can actually cook whereas before i couldn't even cook like I couldn't cook a good meal for my husband and kids because I just couldn't bear the smell of onions, of all the spices that go in it. So around that first trimester, what we did, we're just ordering a lot of takeaways. And most of the takeaways wasn't even for me. It was, it was for them because I couldn't even bear the smell or the taste of like food that had like you know spices in it so but anyways this is pretty much it guys this is it for today's video i just want to give you just a quick you know first first trimester update and i think around that time I, that's when i made the video telling you guys that i wasn't well and i had so many well wishes honestly i had so many well wishes um obviously it wasn't like an actual disease it was just me going through first the first trimester of my pregnancy and it been really challenging and yeah some of you guys really came through prayed prayed for me wished me well um and yeah i'm forever grateful for that so <laughs> thank you so much if you're one of those people that watched that video and left me some amazing comments um 
in, 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 in the comment section I really appreciate it so yeah this is it for me today guys thank you thank you so much for watching I hope you've enjoyed the video and if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel guys if you're not already and I'll catch you next time so I'm gonna give you another bump <laughs> another bump update i don't think it's changed much i'm now 27 weeks um so yeah it's not really that different i feel like it's still the same so this is baby mama yeah i think we're not doing bad at all baby's growing baby is growing really well and so far yeah the pregnancy is just it's just smooth that's how i like it smooth i mean my two other pregnancies were just the same nice and smooth no trouble so we thank god for that anyways guys i'll catch you in my next video bye